Good morning, Perry Hall. Today is Monday, May 18th. Today is National No Dirty Dishes Day, which suggests we take a break from our regular routine. Well, I think that's what we've been doing for the past couple months. How about you? But how can we celebrate this day? Well, I already started celebrating yesterday. I used these biodegradable plates because it was Sunday and it was beautiful and I just didn't feel like doing dishes. But let me tell you about it, ways you can celebrate. Number one, get takeout tonight and eat in the containers they come in. That's always good. Choose biodegradable plates that save um, and are earth friendly. They might save that manicure you might have a little left. I don't know. I don't have much. I don't have anything on my nails now. Three, you can try um, prayer and fasting. Um, if that's something you choose to do. But finally, have everyone in your family wash their own dish so no one family member isn't stuck doing all the dishes. You know, when we go on vacation with my brother and my sister-in-law, where there's a big lot of us, well, we all have to use, rinse off our own dish and put it in the dishwasher, or we have to wash our own dish because there's so many of us. And you know, I always want to continue that when we get home, but for some reason, Aunt Sharon's rules go by the wayside. So anyway, but take advantage of this day where you shouldn't do any dishes. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday. Yesterday, Matthew Gray turned 18 years old. I cannot believe it. Matthew Gray, you were 18. And you know, people from the senior class came over his house at 2 o'clock and stood in the driveway. And this, there was a parade of people that went by. What a wonderful way to celebrate. And today, Luke Lambden and Eden Eberhard are adding another candle to their cake. So happy birthday, everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful day celebrating with your family. Now, the riddle today, I got to tell you, I just in the Google search typed up difficult riddles. I said, we got, we're nearing the end of the announcements here. So I want to make sure that we are really using our brains here at the end. And this is the riddle. I have no head, but come with a neck, two arms, and no hands. What am I? Or what is it? Isn't that interesting? It has a neck, no head, two arms, but no hands. What is it? Now, that's pretty difficult. But anyway, sticking to our dishes theme, here's our joke of the day. What do astronauts eat off of? What? Satellite dishes. <laughs> anyway, that was good. So I got exciting news for you guys. So Saturday, I got up. Oh, you can see one. And a, half of the butterflies were hatched in there. Do you see that little friend there at the bottom? He's flapping his wings. Oh, my and so one thing I had to do was take a cup and put a paper towel in it because they're going to live in here for a week, but they need sugar water. So you take a teaspoon of um, sugar and put it in some warm water and then put a paper towel and then they're going to um, drink from the paper towel. And you also can put a slice of watermelon or an orange. So tonight I'm going to have watermelon. I'm going to put it in there. It's one of my favorite foods. And so they should have it too, don't you think? So anyway, I'm so excited about that. So not only does God make all things new, but they're actually new creations. And as followers of Jesus, we're called to, to do that very thing, to be a new creation, to seek God. And we're going to do this on Friday. And, um, you know, caterpillars, I'm going to tell you about that tomorrow, more about um, what happens and how God created them to be a new creation. But anyway, here we go. Now we're ready for that song. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, you guys, let me tell you, the weather was so wonderful this weekend. I had people texting me left and right. We're walking to the Magic Kingdom. Do you remember that? We, are walk we have walked 
898 miles. Holy cow, that's awesome, you guys. We are so close. You know I can taste that Mickey ice cream now. How about you? We are only 36 miles away from the Magic Kingdom. One of my favorite places. I'm so excited. Excited. It's supposed to rain all week. I was looking at the weather saying, oh, can we how we're we gonna get these last few miles? But it's supposed to rain all week, but that's okay. Up in the Magic Kingdom where it poured down and we still had a good time. So don't let it stop you. We can do it. And our Golden Panther today goes to Lexi Raduano. Let me tell you, I was at Trinity Life Church representing Celebrate Recovery in a grocery giveaway. And there she was with her mask and her little gloves on, and she was handing out groceries. And I am so proud of this girl. And let me tell you, there's a lot of churches in our area and that your churches maybe that are giving out groceries. So, hey, this goes to all the people trying to be encouraging to others who might be struggling during this time. So great job, Lexi. It was good to see you there, my girl. It was very hot, I have to say. Anyway, here we go. We have our devotion today, and it's called A Little Plus Me. Psalm 63, 8. I cling to you. Your strong right hand holds me securely. I am the door. The person who enters through me will be saved. I'm not a locked door. I'm an open door for you and for everyone who chooses to follow me. I came into this world to give you life, life in all its fullness. A full life means different things to different people. So as you try to live a full life, don't compare your life to others. Do you do that sometimes? Do you get stuck comparing yourself to other people? Even if you don't have as much money or as many fancy things as your neighbor, you can still have a good life. Serving God makes a person very rich if he is satisfied with what he has. This simply means that I want you to be satisfied and happy with whatever I give you. If you have food and clothes, the basic needs of life, be happy with that. If I give you more, be thankful and joyful. But don't hold on to your stuff so tightly that you forget about me. And don't want more stuff so much that you forget about all I've given you. The only thing you can always hold on to without hurting your soul is me. No matter how much or how little you own in this world, remember this simple bit of heavenly math. A little or a lot plus me equals everything. And now we're going to close with our um, pledges. Pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. And pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word, I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide God's word in my heart that I might not sin against him. And let's close our time in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for a new week to be a light to you. We ask for strength for any of those that are struggling during this time, especially anyone that's living alone or feeling disconnected. We lift up all those that are working in medical facilities and first responders that continually put themselves second. Give them an extra measure of strength and grace today. In your son's precious name, amen. Well, everybody, don't forget to get out those paper plates and I'll see you tomorrow.